when it comes to parental leave, Switzerland is at the bottom of the ladder. That's compared to European and OECD countries. But what do I mean? When it comes to fathers, there is no law granting rights to any leave. Fathers can ask for a day off when a child is born. But that's the same amount of time you get to move house in Switzerland. Employed mothers are entitled to 14 weeks of paid maternity leave. But now more and more public and private employers are taking action and increasing parental leave. That's leave for both mothers and fathers. IKEA, for instance, introduced paid paternity leave of up to two months in 2017. And Volvo just announced that it is granting half a year of paid parental leave for employees in the EMEA region. If everybody takes the time, and if it's not just the females in the organization, if it's all the people who are having a, a, a child, then it creates a much more neutral playing field. Now, the company that introduced paid parental leave recently is Novartis. It offers 14 weeks to both mothers and fathers. Some say that Switzerland lags behind. The Council of States will soon be discussing an initiative for four weeks of paternity leave. They will also look at Parliament's counterproposal of two weeks. But who would oppose this? The Swiss Association for Small and Mid-Sized Companies argues that because 88% of SMEs have fewer than 10 employees, they simply can't afford a sudden paternity leave. Adrian Wüthrich, president of Travail Swiss, though, says that with more weeks of parental leave, it encourages women to stay in the workforce. So who is driving this change in Switzerland? Will it come from the government or will it be left to companies to bring about change themselves?